Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to brilliant.org slash scishow to learn how you can take your STEM skills to the next level with their interactive courses. In the insect world, there are few creatures as gentle and innocent as a butterfly. And yet, some butterflies have an unexpected side to them. According to research published last week in the journal Ecology, some species of butterflies scratch open living caterpillars and feed on the liquid that oozes out. And while cannibalizing their own species might not seem like a winning survival tactic, weirdly enough, that might be exactly what it is. The discovery of this behavior actually wasn't part of a scientific observation at all. It happened by accident thanks to two friends on vacation in Indonesia. Both of them happened to be scientists who were big on butterflies and photography. So one day they were out taking pictures when they came across a large gathering of butterflies in a forest near a beach. They took a lot of photos as big nerds will. But it wasn't until they were going through their pictures later that they realized what they'd really seen. The butterflies were engaged in a violent feeding frenzy. And they weren't just eating their usual nectar. They seemed to be eating something oozing off caterpillars. The friends were so fascinated that they came back the next two days to document the action. Because what else are you going to do when you're on vacation? They saw butterflies use the sharp claws on their feet to scratch open caterpillars until they ooze and then the butterflies began to feed. They fed on live and dead caterpillars, sometimes in large groups or for hours at a time. While they ate, the butterflies were so absorbed that they didn't even notice being touched by people. The friends thought that this was strange. So after their vacation, they started trying to understand what was going on. They saw that the butterflies in the photos all belonged to the family that includes monarchs, known as the milkweed butterflies. As caterpillars, they feed on milkweed plants, which contain chemicals known as alkaloids. These are toxic to vertebrates, so by ingesting them, caterpillars turn themselves into a dangerous snack for predators. And alkaloids remain important after caterpillars become butterflies. Not only do they help keep predators at bay, they're also used to make chemicals called pheromones that males spray on females to lure them in during courtship rituals. So between protecting against predators and helping attract mates, alkaloids are super useful. In some cases, butterflies get alkaloids by scratching and sucking at leaves. And as the researchers themselves put it, when you really get down to it, caterpillars are essentially just bags of chewed up leaves. So maybe it's not unthinkable that butterflies will attack caterpillars of their own species for a hit of alkaloids. But scientists are not sure if that's all there is to it. There's still a lot they don't know. Like, it's not clear how widespread or common this behavior is, and scientists can't say for sure that the butterflies aren't just accidentally wounding the caterpillars as they scratch at leaves. Plus, even if they are going after the caterpillars, these observations alone don't prove that it's the alkaloids that the butterflies are after. These will be questions for follow-up studies, maybe follow-up vacations. Right now, all we do know is that milkweed butterflies are not necessarily the whimsical, innocent creatures that they seem to be. Speaking of animals with creative survival techniques, another study published last month shared some surprising findings about wild cockatoos. The study, which was published in the journal Current Biology, found that wild cockatoos cockatoos native to Indonesia know how to whittle sticks into tools and use them to hack into a tropical fruit for its seeds. Now, on one hand, that's not so surprising. Any old crow or dolphin can use a tool. But what makes cockatoos special is that they use a set of tools. They have three distinct tools that they use for different functions in a specific order. And outside of primates, they are the first animal found to do this. Cockatoos in the study, known as Goffin's cockatoos, have been seen using tools in captivity. But the authors of this study wanted to see if they would do the same in the wild. Unfortunately, they didn't have much luck actually observing wild birds' behavior. So after hundreds of hours of staring up at trees, the researchers brought small flocks into captivity for short studies. At first, the birds didn't seem to use tools like their counterparts who were raised in captivity. But then, researchers offered them some local fruit known as wawai. The wawai is a tricky nut to crack. It has a fleshy exterior covering a hard pit full of seeds. Still, two of the 15 cockatoos in the study quickly showed that they knew what to do. After biting away the flesh, one cockatoo snapped a branch from a tree and used his beak to carve it into a sturdy, blunt tool. Then he picked up the pit of the fruit with his left claw and used his beak to wedge the tool into a fissure at the end of the pit. Once it was in, 
he pried open the pit. From there, he and the second bird both used their beaks to pull a splinter from a branch, which they used to puncture the thin skin around the seeds. After that, they used the same method to make a slightly larger toothpick-like tool to pry the seeds out. And while this particular study happened in a lab, the researchers are pretty confident the cockatoos also used this method in the wild. Because, for one, the two birds they watched use tools in the lab had clearly had some practice. And once the researchers knew what they were looking for, they also started noticing more more evidence of tool use in the wild. They even stumbled across an abandoned wawai fruit with a wood fragment inserted into it. And while opening a wawai fruit might be an ordinary task for a cockatoo, it's actually a pretty amazing feat. The use of multiple tools in a fixed order to achieve a goal implies that cockatoos have fairly advanced psychological skills in addition to motor skills. And it's one more fascinating reminder that intelligence comes in all forms across the animal kingdom. And if you are also looking for tools to take your STEM skills to the next level, you should check out today's sponsor, Brilliant. They have upped the interactivity of their platform to another level, like the pre-algebra course where they use interactive puzzles alongside diagrams to have your intuition lead the way. It's just a really fun way to learn because you can really see the relationship between numbers. If you're interested, you could get started at brilliant.org slash scishow to get 20% off an annual premium subscription. And checking them out helps us too. So thanks. 